Hello, loves! And welcome to another special edition subscription book box unboxing. <laughs> That's a mouthful. So we're gonna be going through all of these book boxes and special edition boxes that I've gotten recently and go over the fun goodies inside. Now I just get the book only box. So there's going to be a lot of book specific books in here. <laughs> There's a lot to go through, so let's get into it. I ended up getting some special edition books from Lit Joy Crate Box. So I guess let's open it up. It looks like this. It does show the Gothic Horror Collection little card that tells you information about the three book collection. Technically I only got two of the three books, so I didn't get the full collection. So the first one here is Selected Tales and Poems of Edgar Allan Poe. And as you can see, it is beautifully illustrated. It has dark edges, gorgeous end papers, the same on both sides. And then it does have illustrations throughout. So yeah, that's so pretty. Uh, nothing on the back, obviously not signed since Edgar Allan Poe is not around anymore. I am a fan of The Raven and I would like to read more stuff from him. I don't know if you know, but I used to go to the Dickens Fair in San Francisco every year and there's an actor who plays Edgar Allan Poe for the whole event that I used to absolutely adore. Unfortunately, there has been some drama in recent years, so I don't actually know if the show is going to be anything like it used to be, but it was always fun kind of seeing him run around being a depressed Poe. <laughs> then the next book that I ended up getting was A Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. Again, beautifully illustrated. A nice mirror, more dark edges. I don't know if they count as sprayed, but this one does have an illustration, so I guess it is. Oh, I also forgot to mention both of them come with a ribbon bookmark attached. This one also has beautiful end pages, should be the same on both sides. And this one is also illustrated. Gorgeous additions, and unlike a lot of this stuff that Lit Joy Crate has, they weren't actually that expensive, although I don't know if they're available available anymore because they were selling out pretty quickly. Next up, we have the book of the month. I'm gonna go through these pretty quickly because if you don't know, book of the month allows you to basically pick the books that you want. So although I'm really excited about these, it's not the same as the random books that I ended up getting for the rest of the subscription boxes. I always end up getting the book plus two add-ons when I do the book of the month picks. And so so for this one, I ended up going with White Horse by Erica T. Worth. I'm trying to prioritize POC books when they have them since I have a choice <laughs> sometimes. And this one is, as far as I can tell, it's supposed to be a horror novel by a indigenous author, I believe. And the occasional beer at the White Horse have defined urban Indian Kari James's life so far. But when her cousin Debbie finds an old family bracelet that once belonged to Kari's mother, inadvertently calls up both her mother's ghost and a monstrous entity, and Kari's willful ignorance about her past is no longer sustainable. Dum dum dum. Don't know too much about it, but it seems pretty cool. Then I finally got my hands on The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reads. I'm sure you already know what this is all about, but as far as I'm aware, it's a story about a famous actress who decides to tell her life story many years later to a very specific individual and goes over all of this information that has never been shared before. It's us uncovering what that is, some secrets about her and her identity, and and connections that, you know, nobody suspected. So apparently it's a wild ride. A lot of people liked it. 
I feel like eventually I should read it. So I finally nabbed this. And then my last book of the month pick for this month was Like a Sister by Kelly Garrett. And this is a story by a Black author. So another POC author. And it says, no one bats an eye when a Black reality TV star is found dead, except her estranged half sister, whose refusal to believe the official story leads her on a dangerous search for the truth. Oh boy, sounds like a fun time. Although obviously a little bit on the sad side, definitely thrilling, definitely interesting. And I'm excited to get into it. Next up, we have our two Fox and Wit books. They ended up coming in the same box. This is my second to last one. And I'm interested in seeing what these editions look like. I know that the company said that at some point they are hoping to start doing like sprayed edges and stuff. I did cancel the service because I wasn't really happy with the special editions, although I do love the covers that they do. And if they do start doing sprayed edges at some point, I will probably join them again because I do really like the idea behind this service. It's definitely more on the affordable side. And so far the art has been pretty. So it is wrapped up like this. So it does seem like they always include some little extras, even though I do get the book only boxes. So we have a pin here that says fanfic reader and it has a couple of little quotes in it. That's pretty cute. And then inside this little envelope, there's a little coin. It says Fisby Island, our dead drink the sea. There's horse on the front and then this quote on the back, which I'm assuming is from some sort of book quote. And we have the Fox and Wit info brochure, which gives you information to the playlist that they include with each books. The problem is it's showing a book that I got last time. Okay, hopefully there isn't an issue. <laughs> Maybe they messed up one of them. So we ended up getting, ooh, I am not a fan of this cover. The Whispering Dark by Kelly Andrew. So this is their cover with the front and back. And then for them, they just put it over the original. I was excited for this one because I'm not a huge fan of the original cover, but I do like it more than the new one. Uh, it's just not my thing. This one says, Delaney always talked to the dark. She never expected it to talk back. So this one I think is the YA pick. So this one does have a little signed book plate by the author. There are no sprayed edges. So, so far I do not regret canceling this one, but we will be getting one more month since I already paid for it. But this is gorgeous. It's got a little, signed plate. And then this one, although the author uh, signed it at the edge, this one also. And this one is Prince of the Sorrows by Helen Graves. So this one, again, no sprayed edges. I do like the art here. The original, oh, the original art is pretty. So here is the original. It's on the book itself. I really like this book. It's got a bookmark built in, nothing fancy otherwise, but it is hardcover with the art on it. Usually they don't have any information on the flaps or the back, but this cover that they did does have information on the back and then it's got some pretty art. But I think again, I prefer the original, although I do love what's going on in the new one. For this one, it says, there are only two ways to compel a high fae with their true name or with wild fairy fruits. Don't know what that means, but sounds interesting. Here are the two fairy loot boxes. I have no clue which is which. Art with letter from the author. And one thing that ended up happening, and I'm kind of sad about it, is that previously I saw that when they have book only boxes on a month that they add a bonus book to the regular box, the book only boxes get that bonus book, but that did not happen for us this month. So we ended up getting the One Dark Window by Rachel Gillig. It does have sprayed edges. I don't think this cover is different 
different from the original. It has quite a bit of damage here. That's unfortunate. As usual, it does have the reversed dust jacket and it looks like the design is unique. So that is good. And then it has a special, as far as I can tell, hardcover design with illustration. It does have end page art and then the same illustration on the other side. And I don't think it is signed. So I am sad that it didn't include the bonus book because like the only reason why I do the book only boxes is because all I'm interested in these boxes is for the books. It's not because I don't want to get the bonus book. <laughs> like that's what I'm paying just to get the books. So yeah, a little bit heartbroken that I didn't get the bonus, but you know, maybe their thought process is that I'm just paying for a book. So that's it. But I'm pretty sure they used to provide that. I was born with the fever, my blood dark as night. An ancient mercurial spirit is trapped inside Spindle's head. She calls him the nightmare. He protects her. He keeps her secrets, but nothing comes for free, especially magic. Nice! That sounds wild. Then we have this one. For the young adult, it is the dystopia book and we ended up getting Poster Girl. It is a new design as far as I can tell, but it's very reminiscent of the original design. There are sprayed edges. Okay, so there's nothing on the top and the bottom, but there is sprayed edges on the side, which is a little weird, but Okay, at least we still get sprayed edges. It does have end pages here. There is not reverse art on the dust jacket. There's the same design for the other side. And this one is signed. Okay, so that's not too bad. Oh, and then this is what the hardcover looks like. Sonia knows this slogan. She lived by it for most of her life. For decades, everyone in Seattle, Portland lived under it, as well as constant surveillance in the form of the insight, an ocular implant that tracked every word and every action, rewarding or punishing by a rigid moral code set forth by the delegation. Ooh, that is intense. I guess that explains the art that they have here. Uh... No, thank you. This one seems like it's gonna be a wild ride. These are the book subscription books that I got this month. I will have the Amazon links down below along with a link to Fairy Loot and Fox and Wit if you'd like to get them. The Fairy Loot waitlist takes a while. Same with Illumicrate, which we didn't open this month. Then these are the book of the month ones. I will include a link to book of the month because these should all still be available if you wanted to use them, that will be an affiliate link. And then I won't link to these books specifically, but I will link to Lit Joy Crate since I don't actually think these are available anymore, but they do end up with special editions here and there. Most of them are pretty expensive. These were relatively affordable. All right, so here are all of the books that I ended up getting. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like, thumbs up, subscribe, all of that good stuff. And let's include a paper emoji down below if you made it this far and I will catch you in the next video. Until then, bye!